What's up, guys? All right, so as I said, we got the 2002 Ford Windstar and the part two of this series. There's only two parts, so you're almost there. If you're looking at the, the end, it's almost there. Hey, I'm cheering just like you are. All right, so let's look real quick. So on this one, we are going to do the stabilizer links for the sway bars. They want... Uh, the inspection, state inspector, wants the left front tie rod done, inner, not the outers. But while we're in there, I'm just gonna go ahead and check it too because I got both inners and both outers. And if it crucially needs it, then we're gonna do it. I know I'm looking at the Taurus and you're like, hey, what happened to the Taurus? Why are we uh, on the Windstar now? It's because my wife's old shipmate she needs this wind star for work and she needs it because she has three daughters so we're gonna go ahead and knock it out real quick shop one to charge her like eight nine hundred dollars for all these repairs and we of course did not charge that all right so we got the new brake pads as well and the rotor that the estate inspector wanted it so we had to run grab the brake pads real quick if you didn't catch it in the last video i had to pick it up from advanced auto because this van has to be done today all right not no oh, i'll take care of it tomorrow no i don't have time to wait for amazon prime either that's the crazy part she has to be at work tomorrow no exceptions all right <clears throat> so I'm going to check the brake pads if they're better from Advanced Auto on the reviews and the price and everything. Then down below, I'm going to throw that in the description for the Advanced Auto link to the parts. If the Amazon ones is better and they're cheaper, which I'm sure they are, then uh, I'm going to throw that below. All the parts that I'm using in the videos, guys, you can find down below in the video description. Again, I'm wearing sunglasses today. It's supposed to rain, but it's Virginia. It doesn't know what it wants to do, okay? I could get snowed on right now or something. And it hasn't even snowed in two years. So, all right, enough of that. We're gonna jack this van up real quick, okay? Throw the jack under there. We're gonna go ahead and get started, guys. Uh, we're on a deadline now. Stay tuned. All right, guys. All right, so we went ahead and jacked the vehicle up, as you see. It's nice on the uh, jacks and very safe, okay? So next, you're gonna wanna pop the center hub out. Use a nice Phillip head screwdriver. There's a notch right here in the hubcap, as you see. You're gonna put the screwdriver in there and now pop, gone. All right, turn it upside down. I like putting the lug nuts in it. We're gonna zip that off with a three quarter inch socket. I'm using a half inch drive, but I'm also using my impact. So you can use a ratchet. Just remember, if you're using a ratchet or a four way to take your tires off, loosen them up on the ground and then jack the vehicle up, okay? You're gonna have a hell of a time trying to get those lugs off if you had the vehicle up before you uh, untighten them. Just that first untightening, not all the way off. Just do like half a turn, get it where it's, it's it broke all that corrosion dirt off of it so you don't have to run the threads through that, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and zip these off real quick and then I'll bring you guys back, check out what's below, all right? Be right back, guys. All right, guys, so we're all set up now. Uh, we have the tires off, as you see, okay? Um, this one's pretty tore up, but we're gonna go ahead and knock it out real quick. We need the rotor replaced, the brake pads replaced, the stabilizer links, which you see it goes from here down to here, okay? Um, oh, in the inner tie rod, which is this one right here on the inner. This is your outer, that's your inner. We're gonna go ahead and knock that out real quick. But to start it out, guys, especially when the vehicle is old, you are going to want to hit up these bolts or you're gonna hate life, okay? I use a PB Blaster, okay? Uh, <laughs> I love it, okay? You can use WD-40. Uh, you can use a lot of the penetrating oils, but you need to remember to use them, okay? So you wanna hit up any bolt 
that you are about to knock out because we're gonna want to have that stuff sit on there for a second get it right up there I don't know about you guys but uh, I mean I don't mind working but if I can make it easier on myself you best believe I will <laughs> oh you best believe it because uh, it's Sunday I don't I don't really want to be hurting myself on a Sunday which I bet you money I'll get scraped or fall or something today. No, I always do. It's weird. It is incredibly weird um, that that happens. But you know what? Hey, we're not all perfect, Darby. All right. So to get that inner out, probably just knock out the outer too. You know, I mean, I got them. Might as well do it, right? So I'm gonna hit this a little bit more. I don't care about working in this stuff as long as it makes the job easier and it always does guys it always does all right to replace the the uh rotor okay you see it's all jacked okay we're gonna have to pull these torques out right here so go ahead and hit those up okay those are all done so what we're, we'll do first we'll go ahead and pull the brake caliper get that off there replace the brake rotor zip these two bolts off of the uh, stabilizer link that way we can replace that one we have to replace the one on the other side as well and then last but least we'll knock out the tie rod okay and that'll be good this wind star will be done and she can come pick this great vehicle up and i can uh, can enjoy the rest of the day with my wife and kids which, by the way, me and, me and my wife, Misha, went for a walk this morning. It was amazing. Loved it. Because we live right by the uh, right by the bay. You know, the Chesapeake Bay. So I uh, walked down there and enjoyed Man, it was just really nice. Especially with that morning energy drink. I had that Mango Loco for Monster. Oh, to die for! Alright, guys. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Get everything set up. We'll go ahead and start knocking this out and I will set you guys up so you can see it too, okay? All right guys, I'm back. So as much as I want to uh, stall and uh, go back to enjoying my Sunday, we gotta get that done. So let's go ahead and do the stabilizer link first. Okay, PB Blaster is all on there. Yes, it's gonna be a tough one, so. Just a little bit of love right there, guys. Sometimes it needs it, you know? It doesn't get a little bit of this. So, great stuff. It's just spinning in there. And that thing just totally came off. See if we can zip it off real quick. Uh, Run this link over here real quick. Nope, she just don't want to come off. happen in these older vehicles guys let me grab some pliers real quick the back of it is just spinning so go ahead and take some pliers Get it where you can really hold on to it, okay? Put your pliers in there just like so. Zip it off. There we go. Yeah. 
Oh, that came out much better. All right, so there's the top one. You see, here, check this out. You see in there, guys? That thing is totally just ate up. It is gone. All right, so let's go ahead and zip that bottom one off. We're not going to be able to use the uh, impact in there because it is just way too small of an area. So I'll get in there with the ratchet, knock that out. Okay? Hold on. All right, guys, so we got the stabilizer bar off. It's over there now. Complete junk. Uh, on the bottom, we had to use our three quarter ratchet wrench. You know, it was just no rim in there, but we thinned it up with the PB blaster, really freed it up. So, we got our new stabilizer link right here. We're gonna go ahead and put that in real quick. There we go, set you guys up right here. <clears throat> I'm like weighing the decision if I wanna jump to the other side and knock out the stabilizer link real quick. Guys, so with this new stabilizer link, really nice. It comes with a couple grease certs right here. Okay, see those grease certs? There you go. All right, so go ahead and open those up. And yes, I put on gloves now because uh, you know, for a while there I wasn't wearing gloves. And uh, here, we're just gonna put the grease certs right in here. Okay. Uh, make sure they're snug, but not too snug. You don't want to strip them out, and they will strip out, all right? So if they strip out, then you got a pretty useless uh, <laughs> tie rod there that you'll never be able to grease, and it's just going to blow. You know, it's, it's just going to happen that way, okay? you gotta, you got to have grease in your, your actual suspension. It's, it gives it a little bit more padding. Uh, lubricates your parts while they're in movement. You know, and that way they don't grow and freeze up over time. You get, you get the bang for your buck. There you go. Keep it simple. Get the bang for your buck. Alright? We're just tightening those up with the uh, pliers. I know exactly the, the tightness that I actually want on there. So there you go. Those are in. We're going to go ahead and feed this up through here. Just like that, okay. Pop that one in, pop this other one in in the bottom. It's gonna be a little uh, a little tight, but it's okay. That's good. <laughs> you definitely don't want it not to be tight. Uh, that will uh, be very counterproductive, now, wouldn't it? All right, so go ahead and just pop these, uh, these nuts on there. Okay, remember it's a three-quarter uh, three quarter socket or three-quarter wrench, whatever you're using. And you're gonna go ahead and tighten that, okay? Let's go ahead and tighten that up real quick. And then we can uh, move on to the next side, okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and knock them out both at the same time. That way we can uh, just be done. Uh, bars all together so all right let me go ahead and knock that out guys as you see right here I put the nut on I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up right now then I'm gonna hit up these grease certs with a grease gun okay normal automotive grease is what you want to use for bearings uh, you'll see it at the parts store it comes in a tube okay just use that Put in, uh, you know, four or five squirts. You, you don't want it to explode or anything, but you definitely want grease in there. Okay, so that is the stabilizer link. So let me go ahead and finish this up real quick, and I'll jump to the other side, knock that out real quick, and then we'll jump back to this side, knock out the rotor, the pads, and uh, that inner tie rod. Okay, hang tight. 
All right, guys, so here's the stabilizer on the driver's side. We're all good here. I went ahead and greased it up. The greaser is actually going to be on the back side here, so you'll have to come in from the back to hit it up with the grease, okay? As I said, use normal automotive grease. See there right there at the bottom. You see how it went out some when you greased it up? That just added the padding, lubricating those parts. You really want that, guys. Okay, I'll make your, uh, your ride so much easier. All right, so on the passenger side, we went ahead and did the same, knocked it out. As you see right here, this is the old stabilizer bar. Gee, I wonder why they wanted it replaced. That's so odd. Throw that down because it's trash, okay? <laughs> All right, on the uh, passenger side, same way, guys. Greaser on the bottom is going to be here. The greaser for the driver's side is going to be right behind here. So you'll have to come in from behind. All right, so we're all good on the passenger side now. Now all we have to do is focus on the driver's side. Guys, of course, don't keep parts in your, your way. It'll be a trip hazard. Of course, I just dropped the mic as a uh, bad influence upon you. My apologies. So it's now kicked over there. We're all good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the pads, the rotors. Now, uh, we'll go ahead and knock those out and then I'll focus on that inner tie rod, getting that done, all right? So, let's get started. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and start on these brakes and the rotors. For the brakes, we're gonna need a 916 socket for uh, these bolts right here throw that on the ground that's a great thing and on these torques for your rotors you're gonna need a t40 uh, torque all right so make sure you have a t40 and the 916s all right so I'm using a half inch drive on these so we're gonna go ahead and get popping on these guys uh, because I really feel this rain is coming and I mean nothing wrong with working in the rain I don't care uh, my wife says I should. No, but I think my wife's are supposed to say that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to say that. Um, <laughs> that's too funny. I know another woman out there is saying no. But they do. So I always, uh, always appreciate it because guys like me. I would be working in the rain, catch a cold, and probably die from pneumonia uh, if it wasn't for my wife. So, no. Guys, when it comes to these uh, these hard bolts, uh, you guys see a little bit there. Let me uh, let me back you up over here. There we go. Ooh, look at that shot. Ooh, money, money. All right. <laughs> you guys see a little bit better now. You can't see all the way up there, but uh, you know what? One second, guys. Here, I'm adjusting this for you. Uh, I, want, I want you guys to get that. Oh, oh, all right, there. All right. Don't be staring at me. <laughs> all right. So, we're going to go ahead and take these bolts out. But yeah, uh, if it wasn't for my wife, I'd probably die. You know, pneumonia, working in the. Uh... <laughs> All right, so I went ahead and backed those off a little. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those back up. Sorry about that, guys. Is this a 916? No, it's not. One second. 16. Let's try this 5 8 right here. Or 5 8 No? All right. Of course, if I jump to uh, 3 quarters, it's gonna be way too big. Of course, 11 16 is too big, which means it's metric. Oh, lovely. 15 mil. Oh, you got it going on 15. There we go. You guys, remember, if any of these bolts give you a hard time, just give it a slap, okay? I mean, don't drive it through the wall kind of slap. Just a slap, okay? You just want to just want to loosen it up, okay? You got that one right there on the back. Come on, baby. 
There we go. And of course, I did not hit that one up. It's a TV class. Remember, if this video is, is becoming, <laughs> is beneficial or becoming beneficial to you, please like, subscribe, comment down below if you have any questions. Don't forget any questions that you may have uh, because a lot of people forget to ask their questions to watch the video and be like, oh, I don't understand the dang word he just said. So, <clears throat> make sure you ask your, your questions, guys. I, I, com, uh, I answer all of my comments, and I'm there to help you guys. All right? Just like, I'd love you if someone was there to help me. All right, so we got the, oh, my goodness. Guys, come over here. Check this. Oh, wow. Look at those pads. Huh? Those are gone. Oh, straight up nasty. All right, uh -oh. a little, a little stand just fell. One second, I'm gonna go ahead and fix that real quick. Put you guys right back in here. There we go. All right. <clears throat> yeah, if you have any questions, guys, don't forget to ask. You know, I'm, I'm here to help you guys out. That is, I love doing it. You know, it makes it makes me feel you know, helpful. Uh, ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, turn these brake pads out. We got this brake line right here. I'm gonna put this. Oh, I don't like bending brake lines. I don't like bending them. So we're gonna go ahead, put it right there. We're just gonna hold itself. Okay. Do not bend the brake line. Get the little. The little top bends a little that's okay this do not bend you bend this it's game over baby all right cancel christmas it's gone all right all right so now we got that taken care of we got it out of the way we knocked out the two old brake pads i'm gonna knock out this rotor real quick while we have it there and then we'll throw in the new brake pads and then that will be All right, so look at this. Everyone knows the problem. Oh, it keeps on spinning. What should we do? Well, in this case, somebody gave us these nice stabilizer bars. Let's uh, let's see if we can use these. Okay. There we go. So just adding a little bit of pressure and plus that PV blaster that we threw on there makes it so much easier to get it taken off. Okay. <laughs> what should you use if you did not just take off a bad set of stabilizer bars for your sway bars? A pry bar. Use a pry bar or a long screwdriver. Okay? That will hold it in place just as great. Okay? So use that. Knock out these uh, screws. Right here, sitting right next to me. We're gonna go ahead and throw that on real quick. And then we can put those new brake pads on the caliper. And then the brakes will be done. Oh. My wife wants to hang out today, spend some time together. So I do not see myself working on the tours today. But you know what? Uh, that's okay. I worked on it yesterday and the day before, and we got it down to the final two faults on the, uh, the Taurus. So I'm really looking forward to having that thing fixed and sold. So definitely check that out, guys. Uh, hold on. This one. 
Hmm. It's not just held on by that. Those screws hold it in place. Those set screws. But don't you just hate it when someone needs air pressure in a video? And they have their compressor running. They have their compressor running. And it's always, <laughs> have you noticed it's always when they have the compressor running, they tell you the most vital thing on the video. Like, if you don't get this ball, the car, it will, it will, it's, it'll just fall apart. And you can't hear them because the compressor's going, okay? So, all right, my bad on that one, guys. You do not need to take this out. This is for the CV axle, my apologies. But what's crazy is that rotor was completely seized on there. It was amazing. It gave an honorable fight, but it lost. All right, so uh, we're gonna measure up this other rotor because uh, it looks a little different. But uh, let's measure that up real quick and uh, make sure we're all good. And then I'll finish up the brakes. All right. Hang tight, guys. <sighs> so I had to take a break uh, from the cars, even though I'm on like the final stop, really. Um, Xavier needed some attention from Daddy. You know, and if you got kids, you definitely understand. He hasn't taken a nap today, so he wants to be with Daddy, but he just. So I'm gonna chill out with him for a couple minutes so he can uh, get laying down, take a nap, and then I'll go ahead and finish up the rest of the one star. Alright? Catch you in a minute. Alright, guys, I did it. Sabian is asleep. Now we go back to the car. Come on, let's go. Welcome back guys. We are now under the driver's side um, of the Windstar. So, as I said, we gotta get back to work so we can finish this thing up. I put a work light under here so we should have enough light to actually check this out. This is the inner tie rod, okay? This is the part that everyone hates. By the way, I need to throw on a new pair of gloves. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> by looking at my hand. All right, with this part right here, everybody hates this, but what we're gonna do is if you see the little clip right there, we're gonna stick a flathead in there and turn it. It's gonna pop that puppy off, okay? There is a vent line on the other side. You can see it when we get back out. I will make sure I show you, okay? We need to make sure that that goes back on the boot when we put the new inner tie rod we put the new inner tie rod in, and then we put this boot back over, making sure that we have that vent line on there. If you don't have the vent line on there, it is going to spew, and it's gonna make a mess, okay? Uh, these brackets are a one-time use thing, so we are going to replace it with a zip tie. All right. All right, let me go ahead and get out of here real quick so I can show you the outside and we'll go ahead and get cranking on this, okay? One second. Guys, we are on, all right, guys, we are on the outside of the inner tie rod. You see right here, um, let's see, I'm gonna show you real quick. Boy, I love this light. This thing is like a monster. All right, Ooh, now if I can stand, all right. You see that right at the end, there is a clamp right there, okay? Let's try to find a good spot to put this for you guys. There you go. There's a clamp right there. If you look, it has a uh, little clip on it. You're going to take some needle nose and take that puppy off, okay? Just going to slide right past the post here. Okay, uh, as I said, I'm gonna throw a new outer tie rod on just because it's there. And it, it came with the uh, pack of parts that I ordered. So, get the boot off, get it up, 
off out here and we will need a inner tie rod tool kit. This is this trusty puppy right here. Okay. Right here. This is your inner tie rod kit. Okay. All this stuff, of course, I'll go ahead and throw in the description down below so you can get the tools and parts that you need as well to complete this job. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and get that off and uh, get the outer tie rod off. We will go on to the next thing. Guys, remember, this one has a little bit of tape on the threads. Get all that junk off because you need to count these threads. <clears throat> there we go, all that's off. All right, no, oh, get your gloves, Zach, get your gloves. All right, <clears throat> right on the inner tie rod, you see right there, Okay, all these threads, you need to count them, okay? I always use something like an O-ring pick or something. That way I make sure I count all of them. But count all of the threads. You want it in the same spot it is now. So not in a different spot, nothing like that. Same spot, right where it is, and uh, you'll be good to go, all right? Okay, let me go ahead, get that off there and we'll move on from there one second all right guys we're back to the outside <clears throat> taking this outer tie rod off it does have a cotter pin down here on the castle nut so uh if it's really bad just break the thing off and then get it out okay uh fortunately mine was able to be uh taken out so we're all good there. I'm sure the PB Blaster helped out with that. Um, then you're going to take this castle nut off of the bottom of the outer tie rod. It's going to be a 17 millimeter. Okay. We're going to take that castle nut. You see it? You're going to turn it upside down. Okay. Upside down, just like that. You're going to screw that puppy back on there. Okay, just where it's flush with the end of the bolt. Okay, not any more, not any less. You don't want to be messing up the threads. Okay, <clears throat> got that on there. Now, huh? Gotta find my trusty hammer. As I said, I need to find my trusty hammer. This is it. Yeah. <laughs> It's a little four hammer, but all right. So you have it upside down. You have your hammer. Give it some knocks, or use an actual tie rod tool. That's always uh, a nice thing to use as well. Which I do not have one. There you go. All right. So you knocked it up. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, you knocked it up. Good job. Now, <sighs> oh, if everyone can just give you credit like that when you have this. Alright, so, as you see, it didn't mess up the threads, even though we're not using it again. And the bolt is still good. Yay? Awesome stuff. Uh, we need to count the, the numbers on there, but we can do that on the vehicle or off the vehicle. It really doesn't matter. Um, but we need to take it off for the inner tie rod. So let's go ahead and count those up. Here we go. I'm going to use needle nose. As I said, I always got to use something to help me count it. We got one.
Even though 21 is a pretty easy number to, replace, uh, to remember, I'm going to write it down anyways. Uh, just in case. Okay. Uh, let's find that PB blaster again. Hit that up real quick. Pop, pop, pop. There we go. Ooh. See how hot that work light gets? Ooh. No wonder it's baking on it. inner tie rod out okay put it back in yeah. there we go put it back in its hole that way you can loosen it okay and uh, I still use an adjustable uh, you can use a uh, normal wrench but I hate walking back and forth so just grab an adjustable smack it with a hammer okay it is going to be, if you're looking at it, it will turn right, okay? But if you're actually looking at it from behind, it'll be left. So just remember that so you're not tightening it the whole time and getting very angry, okay? So this uh, this outer tie rod doesn't look too bad. The, the boot's still thrown together, um, but we're still gonna replace it because it's Oh, since it's off, might as well replace it and uh, go ahead and just knock this out. So, needle nose, go in there, get this little tab real quick. Move that one out of our way. That's one. And then we got to get our flathead, go in there and take off that inner, um, inner tie rod clamp. One second, guys. Let me grab the uh, socket. I'm just not socket, screwdriver. I'm gonna jump in there, knock that out real quick, and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys. All right, you see that? <clears throat> I went ahead and got that inner, um, the inner clamp off. As I said, where's that thing? There we go. So the thing's gonna look just like this. Okay, get rid of the leaf. It's not gonna have a leaf on it. Okay, it's gonna look just like this. And it's gonna be tied in there. Like so. Okay, and it's gonna be clamped right there at the, the top. You wanna put your flathead right there. Under this piece, okay? A little bit on that piece would be good. And all you do is turn and it'll go pop. That's it, done. All right, <clears throat> all right, so let's go ahead and get that boot off. Do not tear the boot. Ford believes this boot is worth a crap load of money. And uh, they will charge you <laughs> as much as they can for it. Of course, this thing wants to turn. So we're gonna throw our pliers on it. So we can uh, get that thing off. have a pair of vice grips that will work as well it'll probably uh it'll actually work even better uh unfortunately my vice grips wanted to uh ship that on me and uh they no longer they no longer work all right so let me go ahead and get that nut off there and then i'll bring you guys back for the inner tie rod hang tight oh my goodness so now we're work using a work light I had to go grab the inner tie rod tool from uh, Advanced Auto because mine did not have the piece I needed. And I have been running around like a madman ever since getting back from it. But let's go ahead and set you up right here. I'll go ahead and finish getting the rest of this thing out. And uh, we will be done with the inner tie rod. I should have never taken this long. But sometimes you run across problems that kind of blow out your control. 
So. so One inch and five sixteenths. That's the one that's actually going to fit your inner tie rod. Oh my goodness. Ooh. All right, get that one out of here. We got a new one right here. You go ahead and take that spinner on. As you see, the newer one is in such better shape. The old one, you can move around really easy. See that? See that? It moves really easy. It means it's blown. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this new one in. I'll bring you guys back and uh, wrap it all up. Hey guys, so as I said, all right, we went ahead and wrapped it up. We got the wind star running. I'm taking it back to the client now. Ran a little bit longer than expected because the inner tie rod tool that I had didn't have the right size, so I had to go get the right size. And then threw that thing on, threw the new brake pads on with the new rotor, strapped everything together, test drove it. Now we're back and it's good to go. So hey, if you wanna catch more DIY auto repair videos, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon at the bottom so you get that notification when new videos do get released again guys thank you so much and remember the parts and tools that were used in this uh repair series on the 2002 ford windstar is in the description down below so make sure you check it out thanks again guys keep on wrenching until next time keep going all right thanks <laughs>